right, so today's training is on the access export, and this is something that's available to all customers and who use the emergency reporting system. It's located in the admin section, and it's here under the exports area. Now, one of the things you might ask is who would use the access export, or why, why would someone want to do this? Uh, lots of different reasons, but the number one reason, I think, is so that customers can download a complete copy of their data to their local computer so that they can write their own queries and run queries directly against the data. So the way it works, you just log in here through admin, you click the begin export button, and as soon as you click that, it starts churning through all of the tables in the system that hold customer data. So as we run through the access export, it's taking all of the data that's associated with the given customer account and dumping it into an access file. And we'll see here when it finishes what it looks like. Okay, and then when it gets done, after it's created the MDB file, uh, it compresses it just using zip, uh, zips it up so that it will be quicker to download. And then it's complete. We click to download. And then once it's open, because it's a zip file, it can't be changed. And that, that throws some trouble when you try and open it in Ac Microsoft Access. So if you take it from the zip file, drag it over the desktop or save it on a file somewhere local to the computer. Uh, it will copy it and expand it. Yep. So once it's on the desktop, we double click on it. It will open it with Microsoft Access. So as with the new Microsoft Office features, you need to enable content uh, to be editable. Go through and in here you see a list of all the tables that came out of the system that contain your data. So let's take a look at one here. If I right click on it and say open, it queries that table and shows a list of users who are in the users table for this account. And it's as easy as that.